I want to turn to one family's extraordinary journey of generosity that could improve the lives of thousands of people in desperate need of an organ transplant. The father, husband, providing a groundbreaking opportunity on the operating table at the end of his own life. Here now, ABC's Alex Perche. Ask around about Jim Parsons. His loved ones will tell you he never met a stranger. Now, his medical contributions will potentially help tens of thousands of people he'll never meet. Yeah, I know he'd be very proud of what, of, of what he's accomplished. Jim is the reason doctors are making a major breakthrough in fighting a huge crisis, a kidney shortage. It seems like he loved being on bikes. He loved racing. That was uh, where he spent every minute he possibly could to be on a dirt bike or a street bike. Our first date was on a bike. <laughs> That's Jim's ex-wife, Julie, his sons, Cole and David, his daughter, Allie, and all his kids ride. Sometimes he'd even race along with his children. This was the case in September of last year. He and David were competing in different heats. I waited until the race was over and dad never came back. Somebody came up to me and said, your dad's hurt out in the field. The 57 year old would be declared brain dead, his family grieving and still trying to take next steps. Jim was an organ donor but doctors deemed him not suitable for donation, which opened the door for a unique opportunity. Doctors at the University of Alabama, Birmingham, were poised to conduct the first transplant of a genetically modified pig kidney into a human. The process is called xenotransplantation. And the whole family agreed that, yes, uh, we wanted Jim to be a part of this uh, amazing study. And just like that, Jim became their donor. The process is incredibly complicated. With Jim's body on a ventilator, researchers essentially removed his kidneys and replaced them with ones from a gene-edited pig. The first time this has ever been done. Pigs have a lifespan of around 30 years. So the idea is when you transplant these organs that they will be able to sustain the life of the human for the remainder of their life. The pig was gene edited to lessen the risk that a human body would reject the organ. It also allows the organs to properly fit inside a body. We sewed in both kidneys. That took about four hours. And then the remainder of the procedure was following him post-transplant. The new pig kidneys viable for 77 hours before doctors ended the study, which was then peer reviewed. Its success potentially paving the way for these kinds of transplants inside living humans, saving lives. Currently, there are more than 90,000 people in need of a new kidney, but doctors say fewer than 25,000 transplants are performed each year. Our organ shortage is truly a crisis. The study's not without critics. Some animal rights advocates are concerned with the use of pigs. As for Jim Parsons' family, knowing his life's legacy will help save others means the world. There's no words to describe how awesome it is to know that my dad was a part in saving 100,000 plus people. This is fascinating how we've uh, how far we've come, but you yeah. were talking about the uh, heart. Heart the valves, heart valves ha have been used from pigs for, for decades, but this is big news in transplantation research. And the next step, all right. Uh, well, thank you to our Alex Brichet for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.